What we saw in Atlanta last night and what we are seeing in cities across America is an explosion. What should not be lost in this explosion is what this anger and frustration is about for so many across America. Our communities are sick and they are tired and they are now dying. After God be no pedestrian shall stand or turn for us on any streets or sidewalks or parking lots within the city limits. It's not about protesting anymore. It's about saving our city. This is not who Atlanta is. And these folks who have come here thinking they're going to pull this crap are mistaken. Yes, you caught us off balance once. It's not going to happen twice. I think enough is enough. We've been silent for too long. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Obviously, there's a lot going on right now in the world, and I'm, I'm angry. I'm tired. No justice! No peace! No racism! No peace! I'm tired of waking up and instead of just enjoying my life, I'm afraid if my boyfriend or my friends or my family are going to come home. Break every chain. Break every rising. The more we do it, though, the more they're going to hear us. This evening, I have once again signed an executive order that there will be a curfew at 9 p.m. tonight. Right, so just look here behind me. A lot of the crowd is dispersed. That's because you can see the tear gas um, has been deployed. There's officers in the streets right now. And moments before that all happened, we saw bottles flying into the direction of police officers. We have been handed an, an enormous obstacle and have, by and large, done it as well as we could in the space that we are being afforded. <laughs> In Georgia, have not all been violent. Many residents have joined together to chant, hold signs, and march through the streets to voice their opposition. Tonight marks the fourth night of protests in the city. Today is my first day, and I could see all the protesters yesterday from my balcony, and I was like, I should be out there, and I found out about this today. You can see police are moving forward out here. They were standing still, calm, patient for the majority of uh, the afternoon. We were here since 3 o'clock. We've been here since 3 o'clock, and it wasn't until now that things started to get chaotic. We're here to do it peacefully. In numbers, numbers matter, so that's why we're here. And, you know, when it's time to go home, we'll go home. I honestly feel like if people want to protest, then they should be able to protest for as long as they want to. I don't, I don't feel like people should be kicked off the streets for something that they believe in. Like, if you want to protest in this, then it should be being protest for as long as you want to. Why are they trying to cut us off with a curfew? That doesn't make any sense. You can see here behind me a very tense situation. National Guard troops are here. Tear gas has just been deployed. I can feel it. You know, all of us here can. And we are just about seven minutes into that nine o'clock curfew. Put your name! Say his name! the goal of this protest is to really get positive change so that requires positive energy. We realized that people had something to say and there was no organized way for them to say it so when we came out on Monday we created a board that said express yourself be heard and people just started writing what they felt. What I'm saying to you all today is something better on the other side of this for us and it's something better on the other side of this for our children's children. No one wants the curfew. We don't want the National Guard. We don't want this to be a police state. That's No one wants that. No one likes to live that way. Remember to what they're here for. March with a purpose. And after they leave here, go with the plan and figure out what is it that you can do to be a part of change peacefully. No justice! No peace!